Welcome to the second edition of the YouTube channel Counseling for Higher Education. Today I am going to discuss about scholarship, research and study opportunities in Portugal. And I think this will be going to help you a lot and lot. So let's start with the main contents of the talk that I will focus today. It will be the first one about the brief overview of Portugal, the country, in Europe as a whole and in general. And then I will move towards the universities, schools, research centers. And furthermore, I will include scholarships. Then I will include the living expenses, the TOEFL and the GRE and the eligibility requirements, as well as the language requirements. And in the whole, I will sum up with the main contents of this talk that why you should choose Portugal as your study destination for your higher education. So let's begin. Portugal. Portugal is one of the European countries in the South Western Europe and in the North Eastern part of Spain. So it is surrounded by Spain and and is one side surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean so students aspirants and those who are uh, thinking about the higher education you should focus on this country because this country is going to give you a lot about the culture about the food about the studies and about many more opportunities of internship Portugal the capital city of this country is Lisbon and you might have heard one of the famous city of Portugal is Porto, which this year has won the one of the famous and one of the most touristic place in 2017, which earlier also it had won in 2014 and 2012. The population of this country is approximately 10 million and the famous cities of this country are Lisbon, which is the capital city, then Porto, which you might have heard as FC Porto, which is the football club of Porto, then Coimbra, then Braga, then Guimarães, then Algarve, and Faro, and many, many other cities which are very, very famous in terms of higher education, in terms of research center, in terms of uh, scholarship opportunities. The currency of this country is, you know, as usual, is Euro, and I will tell you one thing that this country is very, very, very friendly, very cooperative people and you would love to spend your time while pursuing your higher education. Now, moving towards the universities, schools and research center, I would love to give you the bureau, the, the whole idea about the universities that this Portuguese country has. So, before going towards the university and schools and research centers, I would like to inform about the courses that this country has. So, it starts from the Bachelor or Licenciatura in Portuguese, which is of the duration of three to four years. And in general, this undergraduate or the bachelor degree is taught in Portuguese language. But there are some courses which are also in English. So if you want to gain English language courses, then you should make a search of the English language uh, schools and colleges and universities in Portugal. Then there comes after three to four years of bachelor or licenciatura, there is master or they call it in Portugal as mestrado. Mestrado is for one to two years. And in general, the courses are both in English and in Portuguese. So you are going to find a lot more courses, a lot more programs in English. And those who are interested, they are very much welcome to apply for these positions, for these studies and for the higher education. Then there comes the doctoral program, the doutramento in Portuguese. And it's very fancy, very fancy word, doutramento. So the total duration of the study is three to four years and this is in completely English 
So you are going to find the doctoral degree in engineering, in management, in social science, in medicine, in arts, in, in the biology, in molecular biology, and many other fields of doctoral degree. So that's, that is going to be one of the best destination in Europe as this country has an emerging fi field of engineering, emerging field of research, emerging field of higher education in different universities. In 2016 and 17, as you might have heard, QS World University Ranking, which publishes ranking of universities in the world every year or every two years, and five universities of Portugal, they have managed to get into the top 500 universities in the world. Portugal have also many numerous polytechnic centers and as well as research centers and they offer degrees in engineering, in management, in humanities and in arts, etc. So let's go towards the university. University of Porto, which is located in the city Porto in the northern part of Portugal is the topmost university in Portugal and it has managed to secure 323rd position all over the globe. This is a public university and it was founded in 1911 with a total capacity of 30,000 students you can imagine with more than 3,000 international students. So they offer degrees in engineering, in medicine, in um, science, in arts, in sports, in uh, in other faculties as well for example economics and one of the famous faculty of this university is the faculty of engineering then we have the faculty of biology then we have faculty of medicine so these are the famous faculties of university of porto and i would like to advise the aspiring students to focus on this university if you want to get in admission into this university then the second number of university is university of lisbon which was also founded in 1911 and it's also a public university and it is the largest portuguese university in terms of number of enrolled students which is massive 47000 then there comes the third rank is university Nova de Lisboa. This university is also located in Lisbon and it has managed to secure 366th position with the main focus of STEM that is science, technology, engineering and management as well as fame, finance, accounting, management and economics. Then we have Portugal has University University of Coimbra, which is also the oldest university, which was founded in around 1080. Then we then Portugal has other different universities as well, which I would like to mention here so that you can get the information. University of Aveiro in the city of Aveiro, University of Minho in the northern part of Portugal, University of Algarve, which is in the southern part of Europe uh, of uh, Portugal. Then we have Technical University of Lisbon. University of Evora and University of Lisofona. Apart from this famous, these famous universities, Portugal also has lots and lots of polytechnic. And these polytechnic focus on technology, engineering, social science, and as well as management, then education and sports. And one of the uh, few of them, polytechnic uh, in Portugal, are ISEP in the name of uh, Institute Superior Economy, uh, Engineering and Polytechnic of Porto. Then we have O Porto Polytechnic Institute, then Polytechnic Institute of Leiria in the city of Leiria, Polytechnic Institute of Lisbon, then Polytechnic Institute of Viseu in the city of Viseu, Setubal and Tomar, or there also we have polytechnics and many more polytechnics where you can gain uh, your degree and they are mainly focused on, on a very particular and a specific field of technology, of management, of engineering and other sectors. Then apart from these polytechnic and universities, Portugal also has 
lots and lots of research centers and few of them are INESC the, which is one of the famous research center in Portugal and INESC actually carries lots of research in, uh, in uh, sustainable energy, in uh, medicine, in biology, in uh, industry uh, and then we have another lab which is sister lab then uh, if for information system there are research center for example Lasage then for molecular medicine we have a research center INEP is also a research center in the in the field of biology and then uh, Portugal has research center in the field of particle physics as well so what are the different study programs and the, at, at master and doctoral level so Portugal has many study programs many scholarship programs where students of uh, different countries they can enroll and they can apply for this for these scholarship positions so one of the famous scholarship uh, position for masters for dual degrees on PhDs is MIT Portugal MIT Portugal which is Massachusetts Institute of Technology in conjunction with the Portuguese University this scholarship position this study program is mainly focused for master for dual PhD and for postdoctoral level where the focus is mainly on bioengineering and engineering design and advanced material systems advanced manufacturing systems sustainable energy systems and transportation system so the the phd and the master student can spend half of their time in portugal and half of their time in mit working on a collaborative project between both the countries and both the institute then there is another study program which is university of texas austin and portugal this University of Texas Austin and Portugal is mainly focused on digital media, digital media and mathematics and they offer degrees uh, in, in the form of master, PhD and as well as dual degree. Then there is another study program which is Carnegie Mellon University of USA and Portugal and this program is mainly focused on dual masters, then dual PhD, then postdoctorate degrees postdoctorate level and the degree they offer are as I mentioned earlier for master and PhD the sector that they focus on are robotics computer science then electrical and applied mathematics so those students who are interested in applied mathematics in electrical engineering in computer systems in information technology and robotics they are highly encouraged to fill the, this application form of uh, Carnegie Mellon University and Portugal then apart from these collaborative study programs there is a program called map tele this map tele program is actually a collaborative program between three universities of Portugal and they they give PhD in telecommunication and this program is mainly in conjunction with University of Porto University of Minho and University of Lisbon and sorry, University of Aveiro, Aveiro. The application date is from June to 10th of July. And uh, so the June is coming this year and if you're interested, then you should prepare your application accordingly. There is another program which is MAPHI and this MAPHI program is again a collaborative program between University of Minho, University of Porto and Aveiro and they give PhDs in computer science. Now, talking about the scholarship in Portugal, the scholarship in Portugal are mainly categorized into three kinds uh, of Portugal degrees. One is Instituto do Camões in Portugal uh, and in Portuguese language, where they focus mainly on Portuguese language. So those students who wish to perform their higher studies in Portuguese language then they are encouraged to apply for this for this uh, scholarship which is given for 12 months 
and the amount of scholarship is 500 euros per month apart from other other benefit then we have another scholarship opportunities by the ministry of education which is instituto português do apoio ao desenvolvimento which is a portuguese help for uh, in the field of education then we have another famous scholarship is fct which is fundação para ciência e tecnologia that means foundation of science and technology and this scholarship is given in the field of technology science and medicine arts etc so let's go towards the tuition fees and living expenses tuition fees in portugal depends upon the type of university so if the university is public then the tuition fee will vary and if the university is private then the tuition fee will be different so for a public university at the masters and the bachelor level the university is of is trying to charge you between 950 euros to 1250 euros per year but for phd they are going to charge you between 2500 euros to 3000 euros per year and some of them may charge something like uh, it is possible that 500 euros uh, per month for the private university private university are based on number of credits so if you have more credits they're going to charge you more that means if you're going to take more classes you have to pay more amount of money more amount of fees and in general the fees of the private universities range between 3000 to 4000 per year but apart from this there are taxes additionally that you have to pay apart from the tuition fee which may range between 2 euro to 50 euro uh, per per year now living expenses it will be very good to know about the living expenses in portugal if you are coming as a aspiring student to gain and to pursue your higher education you you must know the living expenses in portugal recently it has been uh, in, in the survey that portugal is considered to be one of the cheapest country in europe apart from other european countries that means that the culture is very high but the amount you're going to spend in your in your living is going to be very low so you're going to enjoy the stay you're going to enjoy your your higher education while paying less amount of money on your expenditure living cost involves in general accommodation then transportation food and some other extra expenses on your daily life and it depends upon the city so if you go to lisbon lisbon is the costliest city and there you have you are going to pay uh, slightly more money that means 500 to 600 euros per month but if you are in some other city for example porto coimbra aveiro kimaraish braga then you are going to spend slightly less money and it it can be between 300 euros to 500 euros per month if you choose to live in the university residence then you are going to pay between 160 euros to 230 euros per month and if you're going to rent an apartment then you are going to pay something between 350 to 500 euros per month university canteen the fee that uh, you are going they are going to charge you for the food is also very low that is 2.5 euros per meal and believe me the food is very very nice and very hygienic so apart from this all information what are the eligibility requirements so the main concern is about the language requirement as i mentioned that for licenciatura that means bachelor degree many courses are being offered in portuguese language so you will find very less courses in english but if you're coming for masters and for phd you should have the knowledge of english because they offer many courses in english language and to that they sometimes ask you about an english english test for example toefl or ielts or they even ask you something like this that if your previous three or four years of education was in english 
then you need to submit a proof of English language uh, previous studies uh, which you can avail which you can take it from the university where you attended your last degree so uh, you need to just show that proof and uh, this is one of the eligibility requirements then it also depends upon the degree that you are going to pursue and this will be engineering or management or economics or medicine uh, you have to have the previous degrees with a particular CGPA with a good academic background and professional experience there, is, there are also many opportunities in terms of internship and you can avail this internship while going to other European countries during this uh, study period so that's all for today and I hope you would enjoy this video and this video will help you to make your mind to make up your mind to pursue higher education in Portugal thank you viewers thank you for watching this edition of our YouTube channel counseling for higher education keep in touch we will get you informed thank you